question, I believe it's question number four. Is jumping to different categories of cybersecurity a bad thing? Damn straight it is. How would someone do this without negative consequences, if any? Alexis? Um, yeah, so this, this is a question that uh, I, I get asked a lot, no, not particularly online, but I get it asked uh, by a lot of students. And um, I think uh, w what they end up, you know, finding themselves doing is like constantly switching from specialization to specialization and they so some of the so some, some of these students are conscious about it which is a good thing and yes uh, as you just said uh, it, it, it 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 does have a, a, neg a negative effect because uh you're pretty much just studying a little bit of everything you're not really going in depth into anything and building up skills so um, I understand that it, it happens when you're a beginner and uh, the, the reason it happens, I've actually discovered this, uh, one, one of the prime reasons it, it happens with students or beginners is because uh, they feel that if they jump to another category or a specialization, it'll be, it'll be much easier than the one they're in. So they're actually looking for, for much easier stuff to do, which again, I, I can understand, but it, it isn't a, a good way of approaching things. In fact, it's the, it's the harder things that are the most reward, rewarding things to learn and to master. So yes, it, it, it can be extremely negative. Uh, however, if you are a beginner or a student, um, I understand why you're doing it. You, you might be doing it to, to, to learn more about the various specializations uh, and the, uh, the categories. Uh, and uh, that is important because to, to, to some level, they, they also overlap. So, uh, you know, pen testing could overlap with us, you know, with malware and malware analysis. And I totally get that. However, I think the first thing to do uh, is to establish, you know, a good presence in one domain and to build up your skill there. And then after you've done that and you're reputable in that particular field, you can then start delving into other things that interest you. But as a beginner or a student, it, it, it can be very negative because you will find yourself just wasting time, uh, constantly switching from field to field. So that's personally what I think. I would say that it's actually mentally draining to try to move from one thing to another to the next shiny thing. And uh, yeah. it's like, it's really hard these days to actually be super focused um, uh, because our, I, I'm not really sure if we're actually mentally built to be able to uh, exercise focus the way we should these days because if you really want to get good at something you have to focus on that something and this is actually a no-brainer right if you want to get good at pen testing do pen testing until it get out it spills out from your brain it, it like spills through your ears um, it's it's depth versus breath so it's if you want to go deep, you have to have extreme focus. Um, uh, and I don't know, uh, we are living in a world today in which uh, focus, we're probably living in a world um, deficient in focus. And there are a few resources, I mean, these are not cybersecurity related that would help uh, one uh, be better at focusing uh, uh, at something instead of jumping to the next shiny thing because there's an opportunity cost there so uh, and you're not winning you're not winning if you move from one thing through another because you're uh, you're jack of all trades and master of none of course uh, and one of the one of the resources i would uh, suggest to someone i mean these are books there's a book by Cal Newport called Deep Work, which is really, really good. I would also, um, I would also suggest, uh, if someone wants to get good at something, I would also suggest Focus by Daniel Goleman. It's not as good as Deep Work, but it's a, it's a decent reading. And there was another book, uh, which I don't remember the title. I think it was by Near... Eol, I'm actually going to link it in the description. I don't want to butcher the title or the name of the, the author. Uh, but uh, these resources would actually help you concentrate or focus on one thing until you master it. Of course, there's a really good book by Robert Greene, Mastery, which is definitely a must-read uh, uh, 
if you want to like be able to stay away from ever chasing something else and never actually getting good at something so uh, this was like kind of uh, maybe an unexpected answer to this question so yeah do you have anything to add to it alexis um yeah i think it's interesting that you mentioned the book mastery because uh, a trend that i've been seeing similar to what he mentions in the book is you know just chasing what's new and shiny as you mentioned and what's new and shiny might be you know a, a new specialization that might offer you know job opportunities uh, in quotes uh, we all know about those type of opportunities. And secondly, uh, some people may be, uh, may be motivated by money, which in the early stages of your career shouldn't be something you, you, you should be interested in or it shouldn't be something that you have fixated as your, as your main objective. So I think th th this is what, what's becoming the, the real problem. And you see it with, with all of these cybersecurity fields. Many students, you know, when you ask them well, why they're getting into cybersecurity, will answer, you know, I, I want to get a good job. And th that's totally understandable. But your main objective in, your, in the early stages of your career should be advancing your knowledge as opposed to, you know, just focusing on money, which I totally understand, by the way. And uh, again, it's just about what you have prioritized. And as you said, uh, depth is extremely important when it comes down to your particular career. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description. Yeah, so money will get you material satisfaction until some point. You can buy a lot of stuff with money. Money is good. I mean, money can be good or evil depending on how you use it. Uh, but deep satisfaction, like inner satisfaction, is not something that money is going to get you. Absolutely. Deep satisfaction would be probably uh, you mastering a certain subfield of cybersecurity and actually seeing the results of your work, seeing positive results of your work in cybersecurity out there. That's what's going to get you uh, satisfaction because I see a lot of people that make a lot of money in different fields, not necessarily in cybersecurity, but they are not satisfied because yeah. they don't have anything else other than money as a result of their work and that's like it it probably feels like shit i think absolutely and as you just said there's no you 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 can't really show anything for all the hard work you've, you've put into and again it's you just find out that you put all your hard work in for money and uh, money can't buy mastery nor achievement so yeah definitely so. well put extremely well put what is something you wish you didn't do looking back into your journey in cybersecurity, in your cybersecurity career? What do you say, Alexis? Um, yeah, that, that's, that's a very good question. Um, I haven't really looked back or reflected on it uh, from a cybersecurity perspective, but I think um, what I would say is uh, it's, it's very important to to listen to what your peers have to say. And when I say peers, I mean, you know, the people you look up to in, 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 in the form of a mentor. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I think I, I ignored some advice from, uh, from mentors or people who are, uh, you know, really, really high up there in terms of cybersecurity in the industry. And I, I, I can understand why I did it. But again, I think in the early stages of your career, it's extremely important to, to listen for feedback and that'll really tell you where you're making mistakes, where you're going wrong, because they, they've done it and they're, they're just trying to help you and, you know, get you the shortest, uh, the shortest path through this uh, without you making the mistakes that they did. So I think that's, that, that's just one that I would say I, I, I would look back on and say, you know, yeah, I, I should have actually listened instead of uh, going my own way and trying it out myself. So I think that, that that's extremely important. Okay, so those who are just starting out, make note of what Alexis said. So, um, what is something I wish I didn't do looking back into uh, my journey in cybersecurity? And my answer to this would be related to uh, the answer to the previous question. I wish I would have been more focused on a single thing because I know that um, I jumped into a lot of stuff ever since I got uh, 
acquainted or get I got myself familiarized with what cybersecurity is I know that I've tried a lot of stuff and I was going into uh, these different like topics avenues subfields of cybersecurity and of course I never felt that I actually learned something like uh, solid in any of them until I started focusing on a single thing and that single thing uh, was for me uh, penetration testing when I started like focusing specifically on penetration testing um, that at that point I decided that uh, I want to get a uh, certification and I went for the OSCP and that that was my commitment to the fact that uh, I want to focus on a single thing and my commitment of course came with the, the fact that so I felt more more motivated to keep doing what I'm doing to focus on one thing was the fact that I had to pay a thousand dollars for the certification so I mean I never paid for a certification that was like something kind of unfamiliar to me and it actually made me uh, stick to it and try to devote the most of my time uh, to try to make the best of those two months that I uh, learned uh, and that I practiced uh, to get my OSCP. So yeah, my answer is uh, I wish I would have uh, have I would have focused on only one thing. And this I would say is not only applicable to cybersecurity, but to anything you want to do in life. If you wanna uh, if you wanna be good, go deep. 